What's up? I'm back. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the gut flora. And this is a pretty cool subject because the stomach, the bacteria in the stomach, bacteria in general, doesn't get the respect that it should get from, to me, the holistic community and the alternative health community. Partly because a lot of modern ancient cultures didn't know about the importance of the bacteria. Science is beginning to understand it now. And it's going to probably cause more change than people think. Because the stomach, largely, because you know most of the, the bacteria in your body is in your stomach. In fact, you have 150, 150 trillion cells in your body. 150 billion, I'm sorry. 150 billion cells in your body. And you have basically 100 billion of them are bacteria. And 50 billion are human cells. So the act the, actually, it might be even more. But basically, the bacteria cells double the human cells. And that's important because what science has started to discover is that there's a symbiotic relationship between humans and bacteria. So when you look at it, somebody as a human, a human has a lot of life forms in it. Because there's different back types of bacteria. So sometimes when people hear bacteria, they don't really realize you, have, you could have over 500 species, different species in your stomach alone. So it's not as simple as saying bacteria. It's the diverse, um, different types of bacteria. And a long time, the more, I would say the, the more, the ancients of, of a longer period of time, right, from further back, they used to look at the stomach as a second brain. The stomach actually has its own central nervous system. It's like the only organ that does that, has that, obviously, besides, you know, the one in between the brain and the spine. Why? Because, in a sense, the brain is the second stomach. And that's the important thing to understand. In a way, sometimes, the brain is the stomach that you, it, the brain is, is, the stomach, I'm sorry, is the brain that you have complete control of. So you may say, what do you mean by complete control of? Well, the difference would be, is that, for the most part, you don't really understand that, like, with the brain... There's, stuff, there's things going on in your subconscious brain. You can't control that. It picks up things that you don't even know. You dream. You sleep. It's, it kind of goes back and forth in that sense. You, you, there's a lot of things dealing with your brain that you don't even... Because you only use 10 to 15% of it. There are a lot of things about the brain you, you can't really understand. But the brain's stomach is the brain you, complete, you control completely. And it's very important because the brain, the stomach, and the mind sort of act like yin and yang. The stomach actually manifests what the mind wants. And in a sense, if you don't have a healthy stomach, you can't manifest what your mind wants. That's why your solar plex, in a sense, is a chakra of manifestation, of power, personal power. If it's weak, you can't manifest even in your magic. Very important. So when you start to look at the, the reason why I like the concept of the gut flora or the bacteria in your stomach, because it actually starts to give you the link to an important metaphysical concept in alchemy. The bacteria in your stomach is very important. I'm not going to talk about that here. But it actually, if you start to do your homework, it actually links up to much higher principles. But even in the beginning, when you're just talking about it for health, it's crucial. Because in a sense, what basically happens is that when you look at it, you need, because you have different types of bacteria, you need a diverse type of diet. So in a lot of ways, sometimes, when you see people fighting about the veg vegans versus vegetarians versus meat eaters, they're coming from the concept of not understanding the gut flora or the bacteria in your stomach and the diverse bacteria in your stomach. Good example. Even myself. Here's a perfect example not understand how bacteria works. Even myself, right? Because the, the concept of gut flora, I only found out about two, three years ago. Milk. Milk is terrible, right? That's what you've been told. I said it. I said cows don't, you know, we're the only people who drink milk from a cow. I said that on video. And no, nobody else, no other animal drinks milk from another animal, which is true. But what people don't realize is in raw cow milk, right, it actually has bacteria in raw cow milk that could help you digest lactose. So when you don't start with a lot of it, you start taking a little shot of it, the bacteria goes in your stomach starts to multiply. Then eventually you can you could actually drink more of that raw cow milk. And all of a sudden when we start saying lactose intolerant, you know, milk gets people a leaky stomach, so milk is not good. All of a sudden, you see the person can, can digest milk. And then you see raw milk. Raw cow milk actually has nutrients that we can use. Now, am I telling people to go out and drink milk? No, because in, at least in the States, 
I don't even think you could buy raw cow milk in the store. So the milk you're going to get in the store is pasteurized. They cook it. So when they cook it, the enzymes that helps you digest lactose is gone. So when you drink it, you're still drinking lactose, but you don't have the enzymes to digest the lactose, especially if you're Asian or black. So then what happens? You know, it causes chaos in your stomach, and then it's associated with bad nutrition. But it's very important because maybe somebody in a farm might be able to drink milk. Now, just understanding bacteria itself and enzymes, that will make you come to a wholly diff totally different conclusion. So that's just one example that, in a sense, bacteria, or understand your gut flora, has, it's going to change the way we see health in the future. And, it, and if it doesn't, it's because you're ignoring it. The bacteria in your stomach need a very diverse diet. I would admit they need mostly fruits and vegetables, though. But they need a very diverse diet. Begin to understand them. Not only makes you healthier, but then you're going to, like I said, you start to be able to use that even if you have you know, aspirations of magic and stuff like that. Because you realize that the stomach is actually the brain that you could control totally. So you could control it totally by putting the right foods in it. When you put the right foods in it, you could actually control its reactions. Unlike this brain, which is picking up things. Right? Some people could watch this video and say, I'm an asshole. Sometimes that's impulses they can't even control. This part, until it takes years to control that. The stomach, you control right away. The stomach and the brain are literally yin and yang. They work together with the heart being the mediating principle. The heart and lungs being the mediating principle between the two. So understanding gut flora is extremely important because it not only will help your health, it will start to help you understand the life form of bacteria. Bacteria, in a sense, have been on the planet for a long time. And the older shamanistic traditions or animism, animist traditions, the elders of the planet are actually bacteria. They tap into the Earth's magnetic grid. When you tap into bacteria, you tap into the Earth. That's the real secret. When you got that feeling in your gut, it's because this can't process it, so it sends a signal to the second brain. When it sends a signal to the second brain, you process it, and then you get that bad feeling in your gut. Sometimes that, sometimes that could be a radio signal from the earth itself. So understand bacteria is crucial in terms of taking back your health and eventually practicing metaphysics at the highest possible level. Until next time, peace.